Hey everybody, thank you for stopping by. Hey, you call me Kane. It's a pleasure to be with you here today. On to the SAR or the Kassar or the SARS club to meet with Natasha. And hopefully, hopefully we can meet with her and talk with her. Midnight but right now, passed, a couple of cocks and, the and a car. madness kicked in. We could only crawl along Shalva District's main streets toward downtown. The city's heart beat differently. Ancient buildings were defaced by she hits differently. signs and billboards. Like half-drunk lovers on a fine leather sofa. Great old houses neighbored by garish modern blocks. A place that makes the head hurt. The Tsar's huge neon the Czar's. sign was visible for miles. A blazing red sign advertised tonight's main attraction, the amazing Natasha. All right. It's getting spicy. Our cops were never welcomed at places like this. I hoped we were too late for the show. We had to be inconspicuous, but it was never easy with this bird mountain by my side. <laughs> Maybe a disguise? There's a rabbit out here. Hello, rabbit. Ah, so this is the famous Czar Club. Sure is. More like infamous, Marty. It's not for our kind, that's for sure. And I don't mean that they don't like foul here. Well, at least we don't have to be afraid that they see you as a detective, boss bird. <laughs> Very funny, Marty. So what are we going to do now? We find Natasha. We find Natasha. Natasha sent me the message, remember? But first, we need to get into the club. And Marty, please, don't monkey this up. All right, so do we have to, like, legitly find a way in? <gasps> Excuse me? On behalf of the well-respected and noble primate community of Clawville? Cut the crap, Marty. Let's focus on what we're here for, okay? As you say, boss bird. <laughs> oh, God, this guy. This is Marty, man. All right, let's see what we have. We have the sign, the SARS Club, uh, the wild new show tonight. My city is on fire. Fantastic. Um, a poster. We have Lewis, Stork Lady, the Bouncer, the Entrance, a fancy car, a fast car, um, advertisement tower, newspapers, and all right. So let's go. Poster. Poster. Uh, SARS SARS Club. In the most colorful club of the most colorful city, my city is on fire. Brand new hit from the Queen of the Night. Ah, you know. I can't help this, but there's a rhino in there. I can't wait for the show. The girls. New Year's Eve's once a year, right? And we're not on duty. I thought you were on duty. I'm not on duty, but I thought you were on duty. Have I asked how Laura's doing? <laughs> Whoa, hey, I, <laughs> I was just kidding okay my relationship with laura is unwavering like the rhino beauty on this picture you have a thing for rhinos interesting taste you've got feathers scales or dermal armor a lady's a lady my friend well at least he's opened thank the wild gods for self-sacrificing gentlemen like you <laughs> all right Get out of the poster. We could talk to Lewis right away, and I think you know we will. Let's go ahead and talk to Lewis. Hello, Lewis, the rabbit, or look at Lewis. Apparently, maybe we can't talk to him. Hey, that's your old friend, right? Wait, what was his name? Lawrence Lamar uh, Liam. Lawrence Lamar? No, Liam. <laughs> Lewis. Yes, it's him. To be honest, Sonny, I always thought that guy's not all there in the head. Nobody's perfectly sane in Clawville, Marty. Is... But if not for this old rabbit, I wouldn't be here today. Lewis, I'll yeah, never okay. forget that. Lewis is is the one who took uh, who took the Impala. Uh, I forgot her name, and um, the lady that was in our office. He's the one that took her home or to the club, right? Should I thank him for that? Sorry, We're it's been a few days since it. I played this game. You're reading my mind, boss. Yeah, let's speak to Lewis. Sonny, my dear friend. Hi, Lewis. This is my partner. But I'm sure you already know. You have no idea how happy I am to meet you, Mr. Marty. I'm a big admirer of your work. That is so sweet. Pleasure's all mine, Lawrence. Lawrence? <clears throat> it's Lewis. Anyways, so the legendary chicken police back together. Isn't it amazing news? Don't ruffle my feathers, Lewis. 
Those days are long gone. We're just here for the entertainment. Or something like that. I see you. Well, that's a shame. I like how he has... He, that voice actor for this guy did, did a pretty good job. See you inside? I have something to do, my f f f f f pal. But I'll try to make it for the main event. Okay, then. Catch you later, pal. Alright, uh, Stork Lady, I don't think is going to be an option here. Honestly, I think these types of women only see faceless tuxedos, cufflinks, and wallets. And in the mirror, they're just brooches, necklaces, and earrings. They're calling them kind of stuck up the storks? Don't be so radical, Marty. They're women. They live by different rules. Hmm, that was kind of deep. It's not. Just bullshit. <laughs> There's more where that came from. Ooh, teach me, master. When you're old and wise like me, you'll realize none of it is worth a damn thing. I wonder what the age gap between these two are. Wait, that was deep again, right? Maybe it was, Marty. Maybe it was. I have a feeling like Sonny is like an old, obviously he's almost retired. He's been in the game for about 20 years, and then, like, maybe Marty has been in the game for about, like, five years, ten years. Like, he's, like, half of what he's done. Amazing. Okay, the bouncer, the fancy car, the advertisement tower, uh, the sign. Let's One look at the day, sign. One day, neon signs will cover the whole world. I'm telling you. You read that, that would be amazing. Kind of science fiction book. I love neon signs. No. Anything it's neon. what I think. Oh, so you have your own thoughts now. The world's really moving forward. Cluck off, Sonny. <laughs> um, I don't want to click on the bouncer yet. I think I'm saving the bouncer for the last fancy oh, car. Oh, look at that. Isn't that the new... It is, Marty. A brand new 942 Silver Hawk. Haven't seen such beauty since I left Averia. Averia? Of all that's furry. That must be a new codex. Averia, maybe? That's probably Natasha's. Maybe it's Ibn Wessler's. I or guess him. he's no paper tiger. Yeah, he sounds like a fellow who drives around in one of these. Lucky bastard. Uh, yeah, advertisement tower. Clonville story. Ah, I like this. Why is that? I don't know. Because it's moving, I guess. <laughs> You're a simple bird, aren't you? <laughs> yes, I am. That's funny. Covid story. A moonlight bowl board. Uh, newspaper stand. Sure. Do you remember when the Clawville Chronicle was a really high quality newspaper? You mean when they wrote something about us daily? Yeah. What exactly happened to That's them? That's a little biased to say. Now they got bored with us, Marty. And to be honest, so did I. But still, here we are working together again. Funny, huh? We're not working together. We're just simply enjoying a New Year's Eve entertainment um, dance show, hope, 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 hopefully. Yeah, hilarious. All right, now let's go ahead and jump the bouncer. <laughs> Howdy, pal. What the hell are you? Are you a ram? Gentlemen, how can I help you on this wonderful, chilly night? We're expected in the VIP lounge. My apologies, but I don't remember ever seeing you gentlemen here before. May I ask? I stop right there, big guy. I get it. Yeah, I know exactly how this works. You're not going to pull out the badge, are so you? what do you have to do to get in? Nothing's easier, sir. Are you on the list? The list? Yeah, I've... Uh, uh, Marty's going to save us. He's going to have to save us. Oh, don't tell me you forgot. I'm afraid I did, Marty. Sorry, big guy, but I'm pretty sure we're not on the list tonight. That's a shame. I'm really sorry, sirs. In that case, you can't come in. Oh, I thought he was saying, in that case, you can come in. Yeah, right. Oh, thanks. My pleasure, gentlemen. Interesting. Okay. Um, so, we can't go into the club. Who would have guessed? So does that mean? Let's check here. <clears throat> People we met probably gonna involve uh, Mr. Mr. Big Man Ram, right? No. Uh, clues, no clues. Places, codex, probably a bunch of codex, right? 
exactly. Um, so I guess this is a no-show for right now. That fellow's built like a brick shit house. <laughs> I don't think we'll be able to just sneak past him. Want to bet? Not today, Marty. Remember, we must avoid suspicion. Right. Ah, okay, okay. No trouble. I get it. It's okay, bro. Oh my god, put Maybe it down, put time. it away. What are you doing? You're pulling out the gat? What was that? Uh, nothing. Just the wind. <laughs> Did you bring Big Bertha with you? <laughs> Gods, no. What are you thinking? What idiot would bring a shotgun to a club? You! Was that a rhetorical question? Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the map here. Um, okay, Clawville PD. The Hotel Atlas. The Hop Dog. Maybe we go back to the Claw Clawville PD? Maybe we get some information? Look at these two simpletons. <laughs> they don't even realize their jackets are full of holes. <laughs> the porcupine he's referencing there. For the wild god's sake, don't dare tell them. I already tried, but nothing happened. Figures. Maybe they can help us, though. Maybe they have an idea on how we can get by or, or anything, really. Hello, gents. Everything all right? Uh, everything's just fine, Sonny. Well, look, the chick police are together <laughs> again. What a time to be alive. Am I right, Royce? <laughs> You're late, Foss. Hey, Foss. Oh, my me. God. You did it again. Okay, what I found under my coat. Oh, jeez. It's Her Majesty Big Bertha in the flesh. Whoa, 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 don't shoot. We were just joking, okay? They know he well, will shoot. Trouble. He shot me. <laughs> yeah, I was just joking, too. <laughs> I'll never get bored with these two. They're so cute. You're going to accidentally shoot something? Your finger is literally on the trigger. I wonder why they thought you would shoot at another cop. That's exactly what I said. Hey, it's just happened once, okay? Am I right, boys? You, 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 you're right, Marty. Yeah. Um, we all know it was an accident. See? That's bad. Okay, let's go inside. Maybe there's something in here. Uh, vending machine? I, I don't. I don't think that's gonna help. Monica? Maybe. Hey, Monica. Remember that invitation from the other day? Oh yeah. I'm so sorry, Marty. I'd love to, but I've got a lot of work to do. You know how it is. Please tell your sweetheart that I'm sorry. Okay, okay, I understand. No problem. He invite her to dinner at his house? We'll meet at the annual party anyway, right? Yeah, that's true. I'll tell Laura. I want to meet Laura. I want to know what she, exactly she is. Um, okay. Bosco? I see you're swamped, buddy. I've sent the old lizard away. I don't need him to foul the air anymore. Well, because he's a reptile. <laughs> No. Because he's old. Because he's a good for nothing piece of shit. Oh my god. No, oh, yeah, that's true. And you, are you letting off some steam? Something like that. We'll go and check out Bosco's some Bosco's a ruthless. He's, he, he's badass, all, man. We? And this is still Clawville. That's true, pal. Protect and serve. You got a room, you two. <laughs> ah, shut up, Marty. I like Bosco. New function, ask. Send it. Hop dog. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's ask him about the hop dog. What have you heard about the hop dog? Is it still standing? Yeah, it is. But I don't frequent that neighborhood. You shouldn't either. Things have escalated there recently. Okay. What about the weasel? What do you know about Ibn Wessler? What's the old rat been up to lately? They say he's keeping a pretty low profile these days. But he's been seen in the company of the Attorney General. Attorney General? Attorney General Hamtaro, eh? Hamtaro? That's interesting. Thanks. See a hamster? Why are you so interested in that rat? If you want another hole in your comb, I could help you too, you know. It's just professional curiosity. Yeah, of course. And I'm a fluffy little Labrador. <laughs> I like Bosco a lot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You forgot to mention this nugget about the case, Sonny. Ibn Clucking Wessler? What the hell did you get into? <laughs> far as I remember, you didn't let me tell you in the first place. Well, you're in now. No way back. I think we've all already established this already. You're a piece of shit, Sonny. You hear me? What's this all about? Easy, chicken. I'll tell you everything soon enough. 
Let's just get the hell out of here first. Uh, if I already told you it's a pleasure working with you again? No, but that's always good to hear, partner. Uh, cluck off. Cluck off. Uh, we weren't done asking. Why is it so quiet in here? Shouldn't it be a madhouse by now? The midnight madness is yet to come, Sonny. Just wait for it. My time's too valuable for that, pal. And you're trespassing. Rules of suspension, remember? I can see you're up to no good. Who, us? Ridiculous. <laughs> if you say so. But I advise you to keep it low. Especially you, Sonny. How many days do you have until retirement? 121. 120 I knew soon. it. Don't be a knucklehead and get yourself fired. Thanks for your eternal wisdom, Bosco. I'm definitely coming to you again next time. Okay. So that has been done and sent. Um, okay. Let's see. Office area. Can we go in the office area? Uh, maybe next time. Okay. Uh, blood boil. I don't think we need to talk to him. No, no, no. We're good with blood boil. There's a shooting range. Uh, the crest. I mean, no. We don't need to do any of that stuff. The vending machine. Absolutely not. Let's go back. Um, let's see. Where else can we go? Uh, we could go back to the hop dog. Let's go back to the hop dog. Maybe Fly Guy Is will talk to us deaf? now. I don't know. Maybe he just doesn't understand what I'm saying. Or he doesn't want to. That's also very likely. I was trying to see, like, uh... It's sad that... It is. Especially a... Yeah. There was, like, something... Because we have to... We have to get by. Right? We don't serve... What is that? We don't serve bugs here? That's disgraceful. Of all that's furry... Is this still a thing? The situation's getting even worse, Marty. Have you heard how... I guess it's racism in their the universe. ...district are forced to make a living... I have no idea what goes on in the hive, Sonny. Prostitution is the lesser evil. What's worse is that some folks have to sell their kids when they're still larvae. Oh my god. Wait, what? They pay a hefty sum for each of them downtown. They sell them as gourmet food. <laughs> oh my oh, god. I'm gonna be sick. We made this city, Marty. Clawville didn't do this to itself. Don't ever forget. Some caviar? Anybody want some caviar? Okay. I don't know if Zip's going to be able to help us here, but we'll give it a try here. Zip? Zip? No. We'll talk to Zip one more time. You sure talk a lot. Yeah, maybe the past is haunting me. Once a rat, always a rat, right? <laughs> You're a trash panda. Aw, oh, come on, Zippy. Don't be so hard on yourself. You got out in time, and you've been living an honest, ordinary life since then, haven't you? Yeah, right. How lucky am I, eh? It's more than what many others get, believe me. Okay, so obviously Zip wasn't the idea. Maybe we go back to, um, to our house, right? No, no, no. Go back to our house. Maybe the phone? Pick up. send it um okay so maybe not typewriter. have you started on your great novel yet? i've already started working on my will but i realized i'd have to leave everything to you so clock that <laughs> <laughs> pity i've always wanted a chicken coop smelling like old socks and bourbon you'll have to earn it first marty oh my god um hmm very interesting Let's see, let's see. Maybe we go back to maybe we go back to the Sar Club, Zars Club. Right. Maybe Lewis can help us or the Stork Lady can. Look, Lewis. That bouncer yeah. over there. Well, yes. He is a bit intimidating, but his manners are impeccable. Am I right? Yes, indeed, but it seems tonight we're not on his list. Oh. <clears throat> I see. I just need you to distract him, Lewis. That's it. Uh, um, oh, I get it. I get it. <laughs> You'd like to go in, but he won't let you. Lewis? Yeah. Yeah, something like that. 
No, 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 no problem at all. Come with me. I'll t -t 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 talk to him. Much obliged, pal. Yeah, thanks, Bunny. Bunny. Excuse me. Ah, oh, jeez, what the hell's wrong with you, Marty? What? Did I say something wrong? I. Uh, hello. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, we can ask the bouncer. We can show him the police badge. No. Lewis C. Hay Hayworth. Um, who... Wait a sec. Who is Lewis C. Hayworth? Oh, that was the bunny. Okay. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Say, big guy, you know Mr. Lewis Hayworth... But of course, Mr. Hayworth is an impeccable gentleman, and also a frequent visitor of the club. Is that so? I don't want to show Good him my badge, know. obviously. And? I'm afraid that is all, monsieur. It's either badge or Natasha. Um, I think asking Natasha is kind of like suspicious too, but what we're going to do that. What can you tell me about the first lady of the place, big guy? Uh, you mean Miss Natasha Katsenko, sir? Exactly. You're right on point, pal. Nothing you don't know already, sir. Just try me. Well, she owns the place. Obviously. And, uh, that's it? Pardon, monsieur, but I'm not permitted to say anything more. I guess use the police badge. Look, I really don't want any trouble. But it is even more inconvenient for me, sir, but this place doesn't like, uh, coppers. coppers. Forgive this slang. I can't let just anybody in, and there are some I'm strictly forbidden to. Please, you have to understand. At least he's being nice about it. Listen here, you cow. Do you he's have not any a cow. idea who we are? You ever read the papers? He's gonna pull out Big Bertha, isn't he? Of course, I know who you are, sir. I read the news and more, and I must admit it's an honor to meet you in person, Mr. Santino Featherland and Mr. Marty Machikin. The Bell of the Pantheres is one of my favorite books. Oh my god, <laughs> not the books again. So it would be terribly inconvenient for me if I had to use force oh. on you, gentlemen. He's gonna pull out Big Bertha. What, what did you just say? Relax, Marty. This guy has chicks like you for breakfast. Uh, thanks for the information, pal. Uh, have a nice night. Thank you for understanding, gentlemen. And forgive me for my austere composition no problem shakespeare okay um uh, you know it didn't go as bad as i thought it was going to again maybe lewis can help us no we can't ask him anything right i don't think we can no speak Sir. to the bouncer ah oh, here we go how'd you do everything's fine mr aworth good <clears throat> uh, look this noble pair of Pigeons are my friends. We're not pigeons. We're chickens. Okay. Merci la mon sir. And as for you, <clears throat> you owe me one, g g gentlemen. Thanks, old pal. It was my p p pleasure to help you, as always. That's such. This is a little weird. The jazz overwhelmed. <laughs> a little weird what just happened. I'll be there honest. No band in sight. He knew we were cops. The music seeped from the walls. And he still like let us in. Years of cigarette smoke. And the smell of spilt whiskey. Behind the bar, rows of fancy bottles reflected the harmonious voices of pretty dames and the clinking of crystal glass. It was the kind of place that makes you drunk, even if you've never had a sip. <laughs> a dangerous place for someone like me. No matter how alien I felt, it was strangely like coming home. Welcome to the Tsar. Well, here we are. All right. Mother of Pearl? I take you to the nicest places, eh, sweetheart? Oh, does it mean you're buying, honey? Oh, God. Don't even think about it. Ah, oh, men these days. So, we're here to find a dame called Natasha. Uh, yeah. It, she's a cat. I have a hunch she won't be hard to find. Let's mingle and try to avoid suspicion. Just like always. No, Marty, not like always. This time, it's for real. What do we got? We got the big buck. Wow, look at his buck. Or er, look at his antlers. We got the fox fella. We have a stage. 
We have nobody. The henchmen. Ooh. Everybody's all staring at us. We have the waitress. We have a question mark. We have the bartender. Looks like a horse. Fancy whiskey. Again, left to right. Fancy whiskey. Mm. All right. Uh, Sonny. Oh, he actually I got know it. It's not my place. Achievement unlocked. Nice. Laura's father went to that guy when his you know, problems uh, had gone too far. You're treading on thin ice, Marty. No, I just... <laughs> Look, fellas at the station are talking, you know? All kinds of things. Moses, Plato, Bosco, and the others. Talking, eh? About what? About why Blood Boil took my badge? <laughs> About what an untrustworthy alcoholic wreck I am? Look, uh, I'm sorry, it doesn't matter. Good, and let it stay that way. At least we're cracking this one together, yeah? Sure, Marty. Okay, um, this man is staring us in the eye. We're still gonna ignore him <laughs> and talk to the bartender. Two whiskeys, kid, and no. Oh, it's a man. Around. It's a gentleman. I've never heard that one before. Ah. Uh, Sonny, you gotta drive, you know. Yeah, you're right, Marty. Hey, long face, give me a glass of tap water too, okay? <laughs> yes, sir. Coming right up. That wasn't exactly what I meant. New function, ask. Okay, yeah, we'll ask the bartender. Hello, bartender. Do you know Natasha Katzenko, where she uh, uh, could be? Tell me, hey, Breath, have you seen Natasha tonight? Not yet, sir, but she's coming on soon. Well, can you tell me anything about Mr. Ibn Wessler? No. Sir, I, I don't want to. What about, let's see, five dollars, maybe? So it's kind of clear that their currency is dollars. I mean, take it as you will. But sir, you haven't even paid for your drinks yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, stop riding on the details, big nose. You do your job and we'll do ours, okay? I mean, we're not here for work, of course. We're just here to relax. Oh yeah, exactly. Just a little fun. <laughs> of course, gentlemen. I mean, we have to talk to this man. He's staring at us dead in the eye. Hey, there's Philmar. Philmar. Who? Oh, yes. Philmar. Because that's what he calls himself, right? I think we made a reference to Philmar, right? Yeah, we made a reference to Philmar in, in, in the beginning of the game. You know him well? We had some seriously wild cases together, yes. Mainly in Averia. Sounds oh, shit. good. Like the blurb of some cheap Pulp Fiction book. Yeah, it was the exact opposite. But the old bird's worth saying hi to. What is he doing here, then? Well, well, if it isn't the great detective, Marlowe. Blow me, Sonny. Oh, you know I don't hey. use that name anymore. Okay, Mr. Dumbass A. <laughs> Phil Marlowe. So says someone who tried to go undercover with a Feather Pillow Mafia is a turkey. Right, Mr. Turk Cayman? Hey, that was a long time ago. I was young. And I stick to my principles and my stupidity. <laughs> Phil Marlowe and that's that. Don't rile me up, you old fart. Okay, okay, fair enough. Sorry, I'm a little clucked tonight. Uh, I know the feeling, pal. By the way... What are you two doing here? You stick out a bit. Are you here for a good old-fashioned beating? No, 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 no. You don't understand. We stick out? Man, you look terrible. Like someone who sat on an electric pole. <laughs> don't even ask. I feel exactly like that. You want a case? Five feet tall, half of that legs. Angelic voice, demonic eyes. Just the usual. Oh, boy. And you? Something like that. Just don't know the exact numbers yet. A dame named Natasha. She called us here. If I'm not mistaken, the joint is hers. You're not mistaken, Sonny. You've been told by multiple people that she owns this place. Yeah, she owns the joint, amongst others. And we've confirmed well, it for the hundredth time. Good luck, guys. That broad has a reputation. She's not the kind to toy with, if you know what I mean. Any useful information? Please give up some useful information, Filmar. For free? Stop clucking around, Philmar. All right, but just because of the old days. 
Look for me after you've talked to her. You wouldn't understand what I have to say about her before then. Okay. Don't leave unless you're thrown out. In which case, you know the drill. We don't know each other. I'll deny you in a blink. Okay. Good to see you too, old pal. That's a clue. We'll be Good. back. What we'll have to do? Oh, 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 oh. Cutscene. Or not. That was weird. Um, wait a sec. Open up the bag. Come to daddy, darling. Okay, so, look. This was our new clue. Good old Filmar must know something about Natasha that could be important for the case, but he won't talk until I meet her. He seemed a bit nervous. It must be something really significant. Calm Very interesting. Bones, darling, it's kind of weird, don't you think? Says someone who calls his gun collection his harem. Uh, it's a little bit of touche there. Touche? Oh my I'll god. I'll shut it. <laughs> Ah, uh, exactly. Good birdie. All right, so let's see. Um, did that mean that cuts? Wow, Filmar, you're creeping the hell out of me. Did that cutscene mean that we got new people down here at at, at the bottom? Ah, there's Ivan and Olivia. Ah, I see. But we have a lot to get into in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe for more. Chicken police, paint it red. I will see you in the next one. Thank you, guys. See ya.